This the wig, y'all. Am I giving? <laughs> let the hair just sit there because I was gonna say let it fall down, but it, it's not moving. My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, it don't move. It don't move. And before I move on to this side, <laughs> shit. Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a wig tutorial, um, well it's not really a tutorial, it's more so like a watch me test this out type of thing cause I don't know what I'm doing for real. I have never worked with a very short wig that's this short. The shortest I probably worked with was like 14 inches at the shortest. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're going to try and test this out and make it look good hopefully. Um, I have to do a review on it so hopefully it does look good and it's an amazon wig it says that it's human hair this is how it looks um i did expect it to it looks a mess right now okay so like when i tried it on earlier it does look crazy but hopefully today it wants to act different but yeah um i was surprised when it came with only this much lace like i at least wanted like a part going down here or something like that like a t part but it's just all i have is this to work with so this is going to be even harder to make it look good but i'm going to do my best to make it look good so yeah so first i'm going to take my two wig caps um the lighter one i'm going to put first and then the darker one i'm going to put second and i'm just stuffing my ponytail in the back and then I'm gonna put this wig cap on a little far up. So it should look something like this. Um, I usually don't have a lump like that in it. So I don't know what that's about, but oh well. This wig look granny licious anyway, so ain't nobody gonna see all that. So this is how the inside of the wigs looks. Um, it's on like an inch of frontal, quote unquote. And then it has, you know, the straps to make it tighter a uh, clip in the back to hold it does it have clips on the inside right here yep a clip here and a clip over there oh I think it's just that one <laughs> so it's a total of two clips um, the straps and then the one inch of lace I believe that this hair is like six inches if I'm not mistaken Okay, so first I'm putting the comb in the back of my hair, and then I'm bringing the wig to the front. As y'all can see, and yes, y'all, I know, I look crazy, it looks crazy, but we don't have to make it work. Um, I have a mirror over here, so y'all gonna see me looking over there, but I'm just trying to check and make sure that all my hair is in the wig. I didn't expect to have to glue this down, but it's looking like I'm looking at the front and it looks like I'm going to have to glue this down, surprisingly. Now connecting the straps together in the bag. So I put the straps down, but like y'all can see the lace lifting up like that. That's not going to work. Um... <laughs> Y'all, I was supposed to put some foundation powder under this wig. Mm -mm. It's on now already, so I ain't finna do that. Um, yeah, I forgot to put the little foundation powder on, so that sucks, but we'll be okay. I'm gonna use this spray, Tresemme holding spray, and I'm gonna part down some edges and cut them. And I'm just gonna time lapse that part because it's not that important. But this is how it's looking. I just threw it on. I did wash it when it came because it kind of smelled like chemically smelling. So yeah, I did wash it and this this how it dried. This the wig, y'all. This the wig. 
am I giving? I know I'm not giving right now, y'all. It's not giving right now. But I'm going to delete my utensils and I'll be back. Okay, so, I got, well, okay, so I brought my comb, my um, rat tail. Why do I call this a comb, y'all? <laughs> I am tripping. I brought these scissors. I have this, like, clamp thing. Because I'm going to clamp the hair out the way. It's so short, like, I bitch. Then I have a rat tail comb because I'm about to part some edges out. Um, I did not bleach, I did not pluck this wig at all. Like, I'm not about that plucking life, y'all. I might be one day, but today ain't the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and part like a very small section all around the rim, like that. And then I'm gonna like, I'm probably not gonna do this part on camera because I need to look in my mirror, but. That's all I'm explaining right now, but I'm gonna cut kind of like, you know, diagonally. And yeah, I'll create some edges. That's basically all I'm doing right now. Especially, I especially have to do this because I didn't put the powder on the lace and pluck it and stuff. So yeah. Now that I've parted what I think will be a good amount of edges out, I'm gonna clip all the hair that I don't want to cut out the way. And I'm gonna comb the little edges down and start cutting diagonally and I, i'm gonna make these edges pretty short because the wig is short but you can do your edges how you want to do them you know it's your wig so like that and before i move on to this side <laughs> shit now i'm doing this part so i said i was gonna use my spray but now i decided that i'm just gonna use my got to be because at first i was just gonna spray like the front part so I didn't have to do edges but it's looking like I'm gonna have to do edges because I messed up y'all I forgot a step so yeah okay so this is how it's looking um I know it looks really like wiggy looking but that's okay that's okay. So now I'm gonna move to the other side now that I have this side laid down so I can go ahead and remove the clip and let the hair, you know, let the hair just sit there because I was gonna say let it fall down, but it, it's not moving. My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair. Okay guys, so I finished doing the edges. Um, my hands are very sticky from the got to be. So yeah, after I did the edges, this is how it looks. They didn't really dry yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start styling the hair. Um, I'm gonna go get a spray bottle. Okay guys, so I just wet the hair and now I'm trying to play with it and see what I wanna do. Um, I think I'm gonna cut the front some unless I can get it to like scrunch some more because the, the front <laughs> the front is like a little bit too long you know compared to the rest of the hair. I'm cutting it and I don't really know how I want it so I'm kind of just winging this <sighs> So yeah, that's why I said it's the hard part, because first of all, I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I don't know what I want. Y'all, when y'all go into this, go into it with a plan. Don't be like me. Just wing it. Y'all, so I cannot find my dimmer brush, but... So I'm just going to have to scrunch. And I'm just playing with it. <laughs> I'm doing a whole lot of playing, because, baby, I don't know what... How I'm feeling right now. bringing some hair to the front to make it look you know bigger thicker all right guys so this is like I guess option number one of what you can do um, I would recommend I would <laughs> I would recommend 
diffusing this so that it can be a little bit bigger and scrunch in the front a little bit more so it can curl up more but i have a different style i want to do than this but this is one that you could wear and i will cut these a little bit more probably um i just took some little videos in this and it's not that looking like cute with me but I do have a different um look that I have in mind now that I was gonna go for so I'm gonna do that and that one's gonna probably be more like official like I'm gonna be styling it and stuff this one I was just you know testing the waters if I wanted to wear it all out I think I'm going to try one more hairstyle that I wanted to like kind of test the waters and see if I liked it or not and I'm gonna do the style that I was thinking about doing and then um you could wear it like this too kind of like more so in the middle but like this and then you can even add a headband with this which i am about to do and i'm very excited to do so with the headband i want to do like a curly bang kind of like this but i'm gonna use my diffuser to dry them so they can be all scrunched up and really create that bang effect you know probably gonna bring like a little bit more hair forward like from over here but since the hair is wet since the hair is wet i'm gonna go ahead and do the other style i was thinking about doing and you're just gonna kind of <laughs> you're gonna part as much hair as you can because i was gonna say part it to the side but uh you're gonna part as much hair as you can to the side and comb it out a little. You're gonna go in with a brush and you're just gonna kinda like swoop it on your head. Um, I'm trying to find a good brush to do this with that's not gonna destroy my edges because I still need the edges for the other look I want to do. Kind of like almost as if you're doing a finger wave. That's what I'm trying to do. Y'all, this is like really hard because <laughs> the only reason like I'm struggling is because I don't want to mess up the edges. So like I'm trying to do this softly and I got a whole nother hairstyle I want to do. So I can't use like some holding spray like you would use on a day where you just want to do this. But yeah, so that's my problem I'm having right now. But y'all get the gist of what I'm doing. So it should look something like this. Um, then I'm gonna do the other side. I was gonna do finger waves with this wig, but then I noticed like, I don't have a part. But I did originally wanna do finger waves with this, so. I guess this is kind of giving me the finger waves that I wanted. Like it's satisfying me a little bit. But this is the scarf I'm using and I'm basically just folding it into like a little V, you know, as if he's about to wrap it on your head to go to bed. And then I'm just gonna tuck and roll it until it's a clean, a clean looking rectangle like this and i'm just gonna put this up here i mean i'm seeing i'm seeing the vision y'all i'm seeing the vision i kind of feel like i look like somebody's auntie not even kind of i do look like somebody's auntie this is not that bad of a thing because you know our aunties be pretty but dang I look old. <laughs> okay, so guys, this is how it's looking. Um, yeah. Except for when you go out, you know you fix it up. I do this every video. Like, when you go out, girl, make sure this is looking right. Don't be looking like me. Okay? Don't be looking like me. I'm gonna take some loose and I'm just gonna slick down, like, the whole entire hair.
okay guys so i'm going to end the video here um that was pretty much all the hairstyles i could really think of to do with this um if i was to rate this wig i would give it like a seven <laughs> a seven because if it had like a t part at least or some more lace then i would have gave it more points but because of the whole little front situation and no part for real i wasn't that much of a fan but it is still cute nonetheless so yeah i liked this wig and you like the styles i did and you want one too i will have the link in the bio and yeah see y'all next time in my next video